Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid bringing you another Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapon Guide. And the weapon we are going to be taking a look at today is the Phasor. And this thing is unfortunately not that good. Um, the red text says set phasers to kill, which is a Star Trek reference. Other than that, it's a Vladov assault rifle with a shotgun underbarrel attachment. The damage is actually really, really low to be fair. It is quite accurate, however, but the reload speed sort of means, yeah, it's not really that useful. Moe's can make good use of this, though, because of the high clip rate, and the fact Moe's has a lot of skills that basically allows you to keep firing without having to reload. The fire rate is really high at 11 shots a second, and as I mentioned, the magazine size is pretty decent at 55. Now, this gun basically shoots out lasers, but unfortunately because of its low damage, they aren't really that useful. I mean, this is only true Volt Hunter mode, it is not uh, Mayhem mode, but as you can see, I mean, the damage is just pretty subpar. Even against the shields, like, it really isn't that great. Now, one thing that does make this good, however, is the shotgun attachments. The shotgun is actually pretty beefy, to be fair. It's certainly a lot better than the actual assault rifle version, making this a pretty good shield clearer to be fair, but unfortunately there are still much better weapons, even just for shields. So, if you want this, let's take a look at how you get it, shall we? So, how do you get it? Well, the easiest way is, because it's a world drop, we can basically just abuse the tink method. Now, tinks were hotfixed, however, there is actually a way to basically get rid of that hotfix. You see, on Borderlands 3, the hotfix is actually applied when you're on this main menu here, which means as long as you aren't connected to the internet when you load up the game, the hotfix will actually not apply. So, for example, right now I'm going to close application, so completely closing Borderlands 3. What this does is it removes the hotfix. Because the hotfix isn't actually downloaded and saved on your system, basically we can trick the game into not downloading it at all. All you need to do is go into network and disable your internet connection. Now, whenever you load up Borderlands 3 and you get to that main menu, because you aren't actually connected to the internet, it's not going to download the hotfix, so we can infinitely farm the uh, tank method. Now, the reason that we're going to use tanks is because with this method, as long as you don't have the hotfix on, basically the tank will spawn 100% of the time in Jacob's estate. And using tanks, you can get anywhere from like three to four legendaries per bag opening. But not only that, the Tink does also drop a lot of legendaries while he's just running around the map as well, which makes this much, much easier to get. Okay, so now that we're back at the main menu, of course, because I disabled the internet connection, we haven't actually got the hotfix downloaded. So all I'm gonna do right here is continue game. I've already got the checkpoint in Jacob's Estate. Once I load in, I will show you on the map exactly where you need to go though for this looting. So now that we're finally loaded into the map, this is Jacob's Estate. This right here is the fast travel station where you'll spawn into the map. Simply run around all the way through the map until you get to here, which has a new U station, which is right there. From this new U station, all you need to do is head over the bridge into this little swampy area, and coming out of that little door on the side there is going to be the loot tank. Simply throw a couple of grenades or give him a couple of shots, whichever you want to do, and he will die very, very easily. Now, the buffs on Mayhem mode for me weren't that good, so I killed him incredibly quickly. Ideally, you know, if you keep a couple of shots going on him, he will run around for a bit, dropping even more loot. So, let's take a look. I got a non-stop shield, a tri-bolt, and a stop gap. So, nothing good this time. Unfortunately, the one downside to this method is because the world drop pool is so vast in Borderlands 3, it might take you a little bit of time to get the legendary that you want. However, this is definitely the fastest method of farming legendaries in Borderlands 3. So give it a try. I hope you get what you want. That It's simply that easy, guys. That easy. All you want to do now to repeat the method is save and quit. And then as soon as you load back in, you're just going to be straight back over at the new use station. So you can come straight back here and get another loot tank. 
But that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you're new around here, then also make sure you definitely subscribe for even more Borderlands free content. As always, though, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.